Springfield, Missouri is rich in high school basketball history. And for the 37th time, some of the nation's top teams and players converge in the Ozarks to impress the crowd of thousands with one goal in mind. Win this prestigious trophy. The Bass Pro Shops Tournament of Champions semifinals are now on ESPN. Downtown Springfield, Missouri is the setting and the JQH Arena will be the backdrop for tonight's 2022 Bass Pro Shops Tournament of Champions semifinals in those blue uniforms, Whitney M. Young in the white and we are underway here in Springfield, Missouri. Gonna pay close attention to Bailey wearing number 10 in blue. Remember just coming back from that injury, wanna see how he responds in the second of a back-to-back. Meanwhile, the dump inside and the quick two coming in. And that was too easy. Amos, as we pointed out, opening up the scoring. A little pick and roll play, pass over the top, and an easy bucket for Amos, the Northern Illinois commit. Sierra Canyon, such a high profile program, four times state champions. As James moves the ball in the swing and the three. And how the scoring got opened here. Nice pick and roll, and that was too easy for Amos. Carolina back screen there. Now Bailey going back on the attack, and he's able to finish. Adam, we've been watching him for years. He has a thing to watch now as anyone in the country because we missed him this summer, and of course he hasn't played much so far this season. So just really excited to check on the progress of one of the most dynamic players in the country. Nice floater up and in, and the answer coming for Whitney Young, Dalen Davis. You mentioned Adam coming back from that injury. Bronny James on the attack. Back to the free throw line, good defense there by Casey, blocks the jumper. Casey all the way down in transition, offensive foul is the call. So it's a great charge play there defensively from Sierra Canyon, from Sierra Canyon but you see the glimpses of versatility in terms of Casey being able to get out in the open floor, make a defensive play to start the break. Even though there's no shot clock in Missouri high school basketball, don't think that extended possessions are going to be an issue. Both of these teams want to give it to their offense quickly. Nice challenge from behind and a tough finish up top. And man, oh man, is Johnny Wright showing what he can do? Yeah, he's such he's got such broad shoulders, a strong upper body, and when you can turn both shoulders in the post like that, you're going to be a weapon. Johnny Wright, 49 in the class of 2023. Nice follow-up on the missed shot, and Sean Brown on the two-point lead now for Sierra Canyon. Wide kick, and Bailey reigns it in for three, and that's been an area of his game where he's taken strides. His three-pointer won't go. Now Sierra Canyon looking to build on their lead here in this first quarter. Mike Price scoring point guard on cue, showing the range. And the offensive glass continuing to become a factor. Bailey, his shot won't fall either. Gets it back and Bailey spins. For the Bruins, get another look at it here. Here's the three. We talked about the improved shooting range over the course of his high school career. And then the grit down low, following his own misses, coming up with the loose ball in traffic. And the match up was how aggressive their defense was and forcing turnovers leading to offense. Hasn't been the case yet tonight. A banked in three from beyond the arc, Dalen Davis. Got night. Davis looking to get his team back in it. Cut it to four, challenge shot again. Offensive glass continuing to be a factor for Sierra Canyon. And Elohim able to push Anytime it up and you've in. got a guy who can impact the game without needing a play called for him, you've got a weapon. That was pretty excellent inbound yeah, play. Yeah, and if you have to call a play, you want to call a play like that, beautifully executed by Whitney Young. Big block by Amos, but a three. Tipped back out, and now another follow up and in. Look offense. At this baseline out of bounds play here. Curl action, and you uh, see what happened with Sierra Canyon. We had one defender thought he was going to switch, the other one was staying at home. And Miami, but there's still another level to be unlocked. Yeah, there certainly is, and I think that he's a guy that started to show it early this summer, as you see the pretty floater there from from uh, Dalen Davis. But Coach Tyrone Slaughter described him as a throwback player. This is a throwback shot. It really is. One foot runner over top of package these days from floaters to various types of layups, and that is definitely the way the game has evolved in recent years. 
Some offensive rebound coming for Whitney Young and Marcus Overstreet able to guy his size. Certainly something that's going to be valued at UCLA. Transition game, no. Puts it back up and in. And how about that? You go from a lob opportunity on last. It's just been the uh, been where Sierra Canyon's best offense has come so far this game. And, and the offense is uh, going to catch up sooner or later. Great play. Yeah, the wide open pass and the finish drilled in by Lloyd headed to Nebraska next year. Well, it's starting to be the passing and the perimeter finishing that's giving the gap for Sierra Canyon. Tight game in the early going, five point lead. Another runner, this one too strong. Follow up and in. And this time. Where he is and also where he needs to work at. So he has a nice cross for a guy his size, but he's got to get to two feet and finish on balance if he wants to really be a face-up threat. Bailey's look like he hasn't been slowed due to that injury in any way. Well, he's just so competitive. A three launch and drilled. They a need a shot there. Whitney Young staying within striking distance. Four-point lead for Sierra Canyon. On the deck attack, and a strong finish through contact once again. That's Mike Price. Love the Price going back to work for Sierra Canyon, and a tough leaner. I'm really sure he was going initially. Little Euro step there, leaning back. Pretty shot. This is the one that pushed the margin to, him to assert himself on both ends, and especially the defensive class. There's that full court pressure shown once again by Sierra Canyon. Davis swoops in and scores with the left. Good take there, love the body, but here comes Sierra Canyon in transition. Bailey muscles his way through and draws the foul. So much sheer force and toughness in his game. You see, not much change in direction there. He basically says, hey, I'm just gonna go through you. And playing in straight lines. Active hands once again for Sierra Canyon, and Bailey ahead of the pack. Legs look good on that one. Quick bounce and the long lead pass. Picking up that loose ball, but get another look at this loose ball. Amari Bailey putting the country on notice. I'm back. And looking pretty healthy flushing that one Also down. mentally as they just wear you down with that constant pressure. 17th turnover for Whitney Young. James going to work, scoops, and gets fouled on the way. He'll go to the free throw line to shoot two. One for Sierra Canyon who's added different things to his game every year. Came in as a guy who was a secondary ball handler. Defending, and he's not worried about how many points he's scoring. He's just impacting winning in all the right ways. Gets onto the score sheet there, and Sierra Canyon with a 12-point lead. Davis trying to keep them in touch, and he does. So is the angle when Davis saw the daylight to pull up behind it. Really good read that time. Davis with 12 of Whitney Young's 30 points. A good take in on Somerville, who has three fouls, and the putback up and in for Sierra Canyon. Easy two there for Kajani Wright. Ronnie sprinting back, beating his man to the spot and setting himself defensively. Part of his game had grown the most as you get another look at this Davis three there, a little, little step back. But with regard to Bronny and the area of his game that's grown the most, I, I think foot speed, the lateral quickness, the length, and the, the motor to capitalize on those physical tools. He tonight really does sell out on defending as hard as possible every possession. As Bailey takes it in, the follow up and in. The Arco able to get that one off the glass. That's a good illustration of what happens when a shot blocker comes over to contest a shot but doesn't get a piece. So often his man is left with an easy putback. Speaking of easy, check this one out. I want to stop there. Extra pass. Amos finds Overstreet inside, and the drought is snapped. You notice there, you, we've talked about Bronny's uh, his on the ball defense. He's gotten around screens beautifully tonight. Really heady For about Sierra the Canyon. Doubling the post is right, had it knocked away, but it's just been that kind of day for Sierra Canyon. Ramel Lloyd. Scores of this team, just a constant mismatch, keeps his defender off balance, gets buckets from different levels. Casey with the scoop shot in right track up. Good drive. James all the way in and scores with the left. Three points. Now Casey again, and this time it won't fall. Rebound up and in for the Mike.
James working from the corner, puts up a triple and bangs that one home. Great looking shot coming off the ball screen action. Been so well, unselfish. Take a look at what he's done here. Getting it done inside and then on the defensive end as well. Yeah, so a couple dynamic minutes here from Bronny James. Straight line drive to the left hand, forces the turnover and then here, watch the pick and roll. Gets a lazy switch and takes advantage of that second defender. Says, you better close out harder than that on me. Amari Bailey pushing it ahead. What a whip inside. And he's such a good rebounding guard. James left open, leaves it inside for Lloyd, and then it's right. Takes something pretty special from Whitney Young. It starts with a two, and there it is from Marcus Pegram. That was a special move there. Handled the pressure, got into the lane, made a nice step through finish. Bailey pulls up from the elbow. Wow, what a shot indeed. Yeah, got to his spot, squared up in the air. No wasted motion in that at all. It's been a, just a really impressive showing here for Amari Bailey. You know what, Adam, as much as analytics have really taken over, nice pass inside and a foul and one. Well, it does seem to be something that Sierra Canyon, for example, has adopted as Somerville drills a corner triple. And you got Bailey as that alpha scorer. As he tries to create space for himself and the put back up and in from Price. An easy left to tip. Drawing the Sierra Canyon bench to their feet. They love that one. Price made that look easy. Nice pull up there from Amos and what a Turned shot. The full court pressure that in the offensive rebounding, they are just going to wear you down throughout the course of the 32 minutes. When you said it never stops, you know, the full court pressure turns into the half court trap. Well, that, that turns that's exactly into it, yeah. That's another tough shot. You talk about tough twos. They're raining down in Missouri. Bailey cashing in. Take a look here at Bailey. So here the mid post creates some space by going right into the defender. And then again, we've highlighted. Yeah, I think the footwork is probably the most underrated aspect of his game because it's, it's really good. And a lot of guys have footwork right off the catch. There's not a lot of players, especially at his age, who have the footwork at the end of the dribble. Because to do that without traveling, is really takes a certain level of sophistication, especially for a young player. And is that something that is kind of innate, or is that something that is drilled? A I, lot? I think it's prob. I don't. I admittedly don't know what his process has been. I don't want to assume, but I think more oh. likely it's a, that was innate. Yeah, first take of me all. through that yeah, process that really quickly. That, right that's there. just natural talent. I think the footwork is something that's probably been drilled. But <laughs> tell you what, Amari Bailey putting on a show right now. Somerville trying to answer on the other end. Bailey up to 17 points now. And what a second half he's had, really coming alive. And he's been the difference, literally, for Sierra Canyon. And it's been an impressive 17 points because he's done it in a variety of different ways. He's made threes, he's made plays off the dribble. How about that? Just slicing through three different players, showing the touch with his offhand. A little fake pass in there, too. And he's really rebounded the ball at a high clip as well. Another jump stop finish, Sierra Canyon. Bailey, heat check, he's feeling it. How about that, just keeps on coming. Up to 20 points now, Omari Bailey. And that one was from forever away. Again, you, you expect him to be a little rusty, just having missed a lot of time with injury, but there is no rust on his game whatsoever. That one would have been the, uh, the icing on the cake. The Sierra Canyon bench is waiting to explode. They didn't have to wait long, though, as the flush in for Niarco. No, they're exploding all right. I mean, right now it is, it is party time on that Sierra Canyon bench. Everything going right. A lot of smiles right now. Again, winning every loose ball. Bouncy finish from the big fella. Able to pick it up and explode straight up to the rim. A three launch, too strong. That one coming from Manjikian. Oh, that would have been a climb the ladder moment as well, but time expires. Sierra Canyon with a statement win over Whitney Young. An 81-49 score, and Amari Bailey was just spectacular tonight. A big time showing for that guy, making a case to be the top-ranked prospect in the ESPN 100. 
Double-double there for Amari Bailey. You talked about him being committed to rebounding basketball, and Adam, he certainly was. He rebounded the ball, he defended, he scored from all three levels. Just a complete performance from Amari Bailey in just his second game back, showing no signs of rust whatsoever. Bailey leads his team to victory. We'll put a bow on this one, wrap things up from semifinal game one. Sierra Canyon in a romp over Whitney Young.